Hi, my name is Rick Rogers. I am the owner of Warriors Respite. And today uh, we are gonna do some yoga, uh, go through some yoga poses. See, I'm a therapist, I'm a registered yoga teacher. I work a lot with trauma and addictions, among other things such as couples, uh, work with teens. And uh, I think yoga is a great mindfulness exercise to help us get present and get moving a little bit. Uh, see, Warriors Respite is a uh, mental health company, and we sell sh uh, motivational shirts, and uh, we uh, do videos and podcasts, and it's just me, so I don't know why I'm saying we. I think I'm obligated to say we. Uh, so today, we're just going to start an easy seat. So crisscross applesauce. My body don't do it as well anymore at the ripe old age of 40. Uh, go ahead and pretend like you have a string above your head and pull it and you're straightening out and stacking every vertebrae on your spine on top of each other. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Just have your hands on your knees and we're gonna take a deep breath in, fill up that belly and your nose. Push it out. And through your nose. Push it out. Take your right hand, take it to your left knee, take your left hand behind you, and just look over your shoulder to that back wall for a little twist. Come back to center and go the opposite way. back to center take your chin to your chest and roll your right ear to your right shoulder and back and around three times sorry if I'm hitting the microphone I might have went an extra time and go the other way And bring your shoulders up to your ears, forward, down, and back. Just rotating your shoulders. And the opposite way. And go ahead, if you'd like, take a block, if you'd like, to get more length and put it underneath your butt. So you're just a little taller. I like to do this when I'm twisting my, or when I'm uh, rotating my hips uh, to give me more, a little more late, uh, length. So you're going to come forward, twist around, and twist back. If you don't have a block, that's okay. Pillow, something like that, or nothing. And I'd suggest investing in a mat if you're wanting to do yoga. Um, you can get some pretty cheap mats. I got like a mat made out of cork because I feel it's good for um like slippage i can't think right now and back to center all right and then just go ahead and interlace your fingers and rotate your wrist one way and then the other way and um just kind of fidget your fingers all right now we're gonna go to a tabletop let me get my water out of the way so we're gonna move this block out of the way I'm going to come to all fours and you should have a straight line from the tip, the crown of your head, all the way back to your tailbone, shoulders underneath your wrists. And then you're going to drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your tail for a little cow pose. Breathe in and breathe out as you go to cat, lift your back, round your back, lower your tailbone, lower your gaze, breathe out. And breathe in the cat. And breathe out through the mouth for cow. Or, uh, I got that backwards. This is cat. Breathe in for cow. And breathe out the cat. Speaking of cat, there might be a cat walking through here. Don't mind. That's Sakura. If he comes through, he's kind of looking. Back to cat. Or cow. 
And back to cat. All right, and let's go into child's pose. What you do is you take your big toe and push, push them together so they're touching. And then you uh, have your knees kind of go out a little bit so you can rest your belly in between your knees. If you can get your chest to the floor, you want your chest to the floor, but I'm gonna take off my hat and take your forehead to the floor. And this is a good rest position. You can rest here at any time. And take your fingers to the left side. So you should feel a stretch over your right ribs. Sorry, my nose is a little stuffy right now, so I might not be breathing the most yogic breath right now. And back to center and bring your fingertips to the left side. And back to center. You can stay. If you're new and don't want to push it too hard, you can stay right here on your hands and knees. For the rest of us, we're going to spread out our fingers, have our fingers and hands placed at a 45 degree angle angle untuck our toes lift our knees lift our tailbone and push back so you're looking between your legs for a down dog bend your knees if you can't get your feet all the way to the ground just make sure your tailbones in the air and go ahead and bicycle your feet waking them up come into plank and you can lower yourself all the way down. And then just kind of lift your chest just a little bit to where you're not, don't have to push. And this little cobra pose. So we're just taking it easy today. Nothing too serious. We're pushing the top of our feet into the ground and untuck our feet. Bring it back up to downward dog. We're gonna walk our feet. I'm not the most flexible. Up to our fingertips for a forward fold. Make sure your knees are bent. Okay. All the way up, fingertips to the sky. Curl hands to heart. Tadasana. I'm gonna bring it forward. We're gonna try this Tadasana. Um, so basically, have your feet out at a 45 degree angle. And every time you're an anchor and you're grounding into the ground, this is a good mindfulness activity. Have your hands, fingertips, fingers spread apart down at your side. And you want to be strong from your ankles to your knees to your back, all the way up to the crown of your head. Roll your shoulders away from your ear. Then fingertips to the sky. Swan dive down for a forward fold. Straighten your back. When I straighten your back, it's bring your hands to your shins. Straighten your back. Chest forward, eyes forward. Fingertips to the ground and all the way back up to Tadasana. And then we're gonna take one right foot forward and take our left foot back and we can place it down at a 45 degree angle for warrior one you're bending forward at the right leg keeping your left leg straight take your hips and pull them forward bring your warrior arms up this is what it's all about and warrior one maybe get back a little more for me and then come back up to Tadasana fingertips to the sky and we'll do a half salutation so it's not a full salutation straight back fingertips to the ground all the way back up and take your right foot back plant your right foot hips forward knee front knee bent bringing your fingertips to the sky ears by our elbows ears by our biceps rather i like to have the pinkies facing each other and back to Tadasana. All right, 
and let's take it a step forward. We're just doing half salutations here because this is just a beginner basic class. Straight back, fingertips to the ground, all the way back up and then bring your left foot back for that warrior one again. And then we're gonna pick up our foot and railroad it behind, or actually a beam, more of a beam. So your ankles should be in line. When we're in Warrior 1, we're railroaded, so the feet aren't in line. When we go to Warrior 2, put the feet in line, fingertips out, and you're looking over that middle finger, and you're making sure the hips are facing that side wall. And then back to Warrior 2, so when I go back to Warrior 2, I railroad my foot back out, hit forward, bam, back into Tadasana. Then we go for that half salutation. So swan dive back down, forward bend, straight back, bend your knees all the way back up to Dadasana and bring that right foot back into warrior one. And then we're gonna go into again, warrior two on the other side. And back to warrior one and back to Tadasana and do a half salutation, breathe out, breathe in straight back, breathe out the lower and swan dive back up and back to warrior one, to warrior two. And this time we're gonna take our right palm up, lean forward and bring it back, bringing our left hand all the way down to our left side into reverse warrior or peaceful warrior and back to warrior two and warrior one back to dadasana and half salutation and back to warrior one i'm wanting to go faster than we're going that's all right warrior two and back to that reverse warrior on the other side and bring it forward, warrior two, warrior one, and Tadasana. I'm sweating a little bit. This is easy, but I'm, I mean, this is an easy, uh, easy but it, it just shows you, like when you're moving, you're gonna sweat, you're gonna get some exercise. Fingertips to the sky, all the way back down, bend your knees, straight back, breathe in, swan dive back up, Back to warrior one on the left side, warrior two. I don't think I have a good warrior two. Reverse warrior. And then bring your forearm all the way forward to your left knee. Take your left bicep over your ear and you're just gonna go for a little side angle. Back to warrior two, back to warrior one and Tadasana. And we're gonna do that on the other side. So we're just adding a step every time. Straight back, breathe out, all the way back up into Tadasana. Warrior one, and we go into warrior two. Reverse warrior, and then come into that side angle on the other side. Your chest should be facing, oh, I'm about to fall. Your chest should be facing out towards that wall. So you should be getting a nice little stretch right here, maybe. And back to Warrior 2, Warrior 1, and Tadasana. Perfect. You guys are doing good. All right. Um, we're not really flowing right now. We're going to go into a little tree, okay? So... There are three ways you can do this. You can just kickstand it right here at the bottom. What I like to do is bring it right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a tree. Some of you guys will be able to bring it all the way up. I will not be doing that. Never, even when I was skinny, I wasn't able to do that. All right, so we're just gonna go into a little tree. Pretend like there's like a $100 bill between your foot and your leg, and you don't wanna let that go.
and relax. And we're gonna do that on the other side. So go ahead and bring your foot, you can kickstand it, you can bring it up to your shin, or you can bring it all the way up. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna be on my calf, on my shin. And you don't have to have your hands up, you can be prayer hands. Like Tadasana, you can have your hands to the side. Whatever you like to do, I like to grow my limbs. Five breaths here. And relax, I almost fell. Okay, um, so let's bring it back down. And we are gonna go for a seated butterfly. So just basically, some of you have been in dance or ballet or sports, might have done this. You just bring the bottom of your feet together, straighten your back. Some of you might be able to fold all the way down. I will not be doing that. I will fold halfway down. But whatever's comfortable for you. Some of you ladies are a lot more flexible than me. And relax. Maybe take that right foot and bring it behind you. And bring that left foot in. And we try to like straighten our hips. And then we just come back onto our hands. For a little deer pose. Ooh, that feels different. So it seems like something I really needed right there. And then just go to the other side. Bring your right foot in the middle, bring your left foot back. Straighten your hips. My ankle hurts on that side, so. I can't lean into it too much. And that's another thing, like do what's comfortable for you. If something's not comfortable, ease off, go to child's pose. You want to, discomfort's good, pain is not good. So a little bit of discomfort's okay, but if you're feeling pain, back off. And bring it back to center. And this is gonna be real short here, so we're just gonna do a little bridges. So we're gonna come straight onto our back, feet on the ground. You wanna bring your feet probably closer to your butt. Just have your hands on the side. We're just gonna lift our hips and come all the way up into our shoulders. And you're gonna pretend like there's a volleyball in between your knees and you're not letting that go. And bring it down one vertebrae at a time. And bring it back up. And we're breathing. And bring it back down. All right. And here, you can go ahead and take your right angle behind your left knee. We ain't gonna do anything too crazy. Usually it's just a pigeon where you lift your knee and you can put your hands underneath your knee. You can do that. Or you can just sit just like this, or just lift your knee. I'm just gonna lift my knee for now because that's what I need. I'm gonna push my right knee in. But do what your body needs, do what's comfortable for you. And switch sides. Let's take your left. Uh, ankle on your right knee and stretch. And relax and take your left ankle over your right ankle and take your right left hand and grab your right wrist, take your hands overhead and you're gonna move your body into a v-shape like a banana and this is called banana awesome so you're just creating your body or moving your body into a banana shape and relax 
and switch sides. So take your right ankle over your left ankle, grab your left wrist, and move to the other side. And relax take your knees to your chest and then just let them fall to the right side I like to have my right hand on my left knee and look over my left shoulder let your left arm just extend for a nice gentle twist and I can lay here all day bring it back to center and take it to the other side. And then back to center. And let your feet just flail out. Spread your legs. Take up space because usually there's nobody. If you have the room, get flat get long take up as much space as you can as you lay on the floor close your eyes breathe and let your mind go empty or let your thoughts just come and go don't get wrapped up in judgment don't get wrapped up in thoughts just allow them to be Maybe start thinking about gratefulness, what you're grateful for, what your goal for the rest of the day is. Thank yourself for bringing yourself to the mat for just a couple minutes. stay there for 10 minutes if you want but go up, roll on to your favorite side into the fetal position and just pull your way up to sitting meet me sitting at the top of your mat I'm gonna do an arm and if you haven't done it before it just goes Ah, and then we go into oh, and then we go into mm. The light in me gently bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're looking for counseling, find me on a bunch of apps. Uh, find me on Psychology Today. If you're already with counseling with me, do your homework and uh, let's kick some ass. All right, Warriors Respite, baby. 2023, let's do it. <laughs>